about Jason. I mean about yourself. Karen, you know, my old man was tough and he was wrong and he made mistakes. What did he do? It's not, uh, it's not about what he did. It's, the gory details are almost boring. about the way he made me feel, you know? He made me feel like I couldn't do anything. And what I thought and felt didn't matter. Or I guess that... I wasn't worth anything. And I... I think that... Young people need encouragement. It's like a, a plant needs sunshine. Not enough sun. It's worse than getting smacked around, which he was also a good ass. I look at myself and I think, what am I doing to Meg? What am I doing to my own child? Am I like my father? I'm, I'm not hitting her. But what happens when I raise my voice or take away a privilege? What does that make her feel like? Mac, that little girl is blessed to have you as a father. Karen, I'm spending too much time away from her. I'm staring at a criminal charge. It's like, it's like I'm putting everything else before my family. Meg knows you love her. Children don't always listen to what we say, but they learn from watching how we act. And that little girl not only knows you love her, but that you care about other people and, and truth and justice. In the American way? It's that line from the Superman TV show. You have all the virtues that people should have. Same Meg, right? Hardly. You always forget to close the kitchen cabinet doors. We all make mistakes. I mean, I just helped Meg build that diorama for her class and then the teacher told me she was supposed to do it by herself. And there I was feeling miserable, thinking that I was a complete failure as a mother. And I've already raised children. I mean, you'd think I would get it right by now. We're never gonna be perfect. But I do know one thing. I know I'm never gonna let that little devil trick me into building another class project. <laughs> 